Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very dynamic logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Call this render as our main render comp. Let's set this to 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then let's create one more new composition, which is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo. Hit OK and drag and drop in the logo that we want to use. So I'll be using a nice colorful logo that I have here. Then go back into the main render comp and drag and drop in the logo composition. Go into effects and presets and search for an effect called CC pixel poly. Double click to apply this and now if I preview the animation, boom, there we have a breaking heart animation, which is not exactly what we want, but let's make this look even more cooler so first things first let's set the gravity down to zero and the spinning property to zero as well let's bring down the directional randomness to zero and increase the speed randomness all the way up to 100 percent set the grid spacing to around 10 so we have something like this and now we have this really nice burst and finally let's change the object from textured polygon to square so now we have this really nice animation as you can see. Now I want to reduce the number of boxes that are bursting out. So to control that I will be using an effect called checkboard, checkerboard and put this on the top and change the blending mode of this to stencil alpha. So now we have something like this. Now let's duplicate this composition. So hit control D to duplicate it and delete the pixel poly and the checkerboard effect from here. So now we have something like this. So I'll go right over here, select both of these layers, hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe on the opacity, set the first layer opacity to zero, then go at the very start, set this to 100 and set this to zero. So now we have something like this. A nice bursting animation pretty cool now let's hit control Y to create a new solid called this ramp go into effects and presets and search for gradient ramp effect double click to apply this set the ramp shape from linear to radial and bring this into the center like so and change the white color to a nice darkish gray color like so Let's put this, let's put the layer below and turn this off. Right click and create a new adjustment layer. Call this time and place it on the top. Go to effects and presets and search for time displacement. Double click to apply this. And now set the time displacement layer to ramp and set this to effects and mask. Increase the max displacement time second to two and this one to 20. So now if I preview this, we have this really nice burst as you can see and the gradient ramp that we have created is driving the animation. So if I adjust this, you can see the difference here. Now let's increase the ramp scatter all the way up to 300. So we get this really nice dispersion kind of an effect which looks pretty damn cool. And I can hide this and we get a really nice effect which starts at 2 seconds. Pretty cool. 
Now, as you can see, our logo is quite colorful and because of that, all the particles or pixels are coming out really nice and colorful because colors are important. Now, colors play a very important role whenever we are creating any kind of design or animations. And to be color accurate with your content creation, it's very important to use a monitor display that serves this purpose. And this is when the BenQ's new PD2705U comes into the picture. I have been using the older version PD2700U for more than three years now and it's been a pleasure working on it. The new PD2705U is the latest add-on to their Design View series along with the PD3205U which are 4K IPS super color accurate monitors. These monitors are world's first Pantone skin tone validated monitors. The PD2705U comes with a 60Hz refresh rate and AMD FreeSync technology. It also has an HDR10 certified display, 350 nits of peak brightness and a 99% sRGB color gamut coverage. Now these monitors are a bit high in price but an absolute worth investment, especially if you want to create those super color accurate designs and animations. So to know more about them, click the first link in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. Now if you want more shapes or more pixels here, I can go back and turn off the checkerboard in case if you want that or I can simply bring this down like around 5 or 3 and that should make it. So this is looking pretty nice. Now let's hit control Y to create a new solid called this BG for background and let's add some nice glow on this. Now I will be using a third party plugin that is deep glow, but this is absolutely optional. You can use the default glow if you want to. So I can simply select the layer and go into effects and preset and search for the default glow that we get in after effects and apply this, increase the uh, radius like so you know and play around with the glow settings but i personally like to use the deep glow plug plugin so i'm going to use the deep glow it just gives much better glows i think so let's bring that down to around 0.5 so there we go this is looking very nice i think now i can go ahead in the ramp and adjust this a little bit more like i want this to start from here yeah that looks much better now there are a couple of things that we need to do in order to make this look perfect so first of all let's create a new adjustment layer and add some noise on this go into effects and presets and search for noise uncheck this and set this to 2 also i'm going to go back and hold alt and click on the small button to switch to 16 bits this is going to give us much better glows and yeah as you can see this is looking pretty damn cool now there are a number of things that you can do with this effect so just to play around with this i'm going to set this back to eight and i can select this and in the pixel poly we have number of different options to play around with so let's try out gravity so if i set this to minus one you can see we get a really interesting this dispersion effect for the logo which looks pretty cool i can also increase the spinning amount i can increase the directional randomness direction randomness and and you can see we get a really interesting look pretty cool if i set the gravity to one it should fall down like so so it's a really interesting effect to play around with you can create some really nice animation using this i prefer to set this to zero i think and you know you get this really nice random effect here pretty cool and at the end i can simply add a new solid called this uh, fade out press t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe set this to around six or seven seconds and set this to zero so that it fades out like so and there we have a super nice animation for our logo and it looks very very dynamic i think and it's as you saw it's super easy to create so that is how you create this pixelated logo animation inside of after effects without using any plugins 
Now, yes, Deep Glow is a plugin, but it's optional. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're watching my video for the very first time and follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil Pavar. And if you're feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.